Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and this is episode 246 of the World Famous University Love Podcast, also known as Online Marketing Moves. And we are coming to you live today. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the studio. Okay, we are in the office. I must say, this thing is coming along very nicely. All right. We have the candles lit. We we have uh, my wife got me this little thing that has the letter T on it. It lights up. So I said, you know what? Today we are going to record in the ambiance. All right. But uh, anyway, <laughs> I just I I had to share that I had to share that with you because I know you was thinking, where is this guy at today? Okay. <laughs> you remember if you've been listening if you've been listening for a long time. You will remember when I used to re- record from anywhere from Pennsylvania, from York, Pennsylvania to Paris, Texas, you know, and all and all across the nation. I think back to those. <laughs> I'm acting like it was a long time ago, but it was like three months ago. But three months is a long time sometimes. I'm thinking back to that to those days. You know, I was looking for my microphone the other day because I was going to record actually on the phone just to do a bonus episode. And I was like, I can't even find my microphone. So now I had to go um, find the old microphone and see where it's see where it's at somewhere around the house. But I can't quite find it. But, you know, whenever whenever you are walking to the theme of this uh, episode, whenever you whenever it's on your heart to get something done, then uh, by any means necessary, you know what I mean? So. I recorded in some strange places, you know, in the car, in the back of the truck, front of the truck, you know, in the back of growth, in the back of stores, you know, at truck stops. I've recorded a lot of different places because, as you well know, we talked about this before. I I knew I wanted to start a podcast, so I said, you know, I can't. I have I had to come out. Those excuses I had, you know, we had to let those go. You know what I mean? And we're going to talk about this today. When you, when when it's something that you really want to do, when it's something that, you know, you have like a real desire to, to, to just do it. You know what I mean? We have to get away from, you can't. You, you, the person, you know, you're, I used to, I used to think my mind, I used to think my mind was in charge of what I do. You know what I mean? But no, in reality, it's not about, cause your mind, it does, your mind is going to do things that's the most comfortable. You know what I mean? Like the brain sometimes wants, wants you to be on autopilot. You know what, you know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? It's like, I'll, I'll give you an example. Every day when I record this podcast, I turn on my computer, you know, make sure the microphone's plugged up. And every day I look down and I see this solitary game. And my mind is like, come on, man, let's play a few games of solitary before we record the podcast. And when I'm when I when I'm pressed because I want to record and then I want to do some writing or send some emails, and I'm like, no, I have to record. Uh once or twice a week, I let in my mind, I'm like, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll play some games, you know. And I'll play the solitary game, and it's 20, 30 minutes later. I'm like, I just wasted 20, 30 minutes. When it, instead of me, you know, I could be either sleep or I could be writing or something like that, you know. Those 20, 30 minutes, I can knock out a page or two. You never know how much you can knock out in those 20, 30 minutes. But, that, but that's just wasting time because the brain is like, come on, man, let's, let's, uh, let's make it easy. And, and I know me. I don't know about you, but for me, I know myself. I love I, the my mind. Oh, I love the easy stuff. The easier, the better. You know what I mean? Like challenging myself. Like that's me. That's what I want to do. But in my mind, I'm like, Shh, bro, that's hard. Let's let's cut this. Let's cut this mess out. You know what I mean? Um, I give you another example. When I first started, when I first started truck driving, I tell you what, it was it was a fight between me, myself, and I. Me, the me, I'm like, you know, we can get it done. I want to do it. 
in my mind, I was like, listen, it, it, we we've had we've had it quite easy. Why are we why are we trying to do it? Why are we trying something new? You know, so keep that in mind whenever you it's like working out. It's not about, hey, man, let's let's I'm too tired to go work out. No, go work out. If you're tired, if you're not tired, just go work out. You'll be amazed what happens once you get started. As I told you before, we talked about this last week, week before, but I will always bring this up. I love doing the podcast. Don't get me wrong. That doesn't mean every day I come in here, it's jolly, jolly, jolly. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's a couple, couple, couple days a month, you know? I'm like, F this, F that. But, you know, in my mind, I would just not do it. But me, me, I'm like, nah. Look, look, brain, we are doing we are doing this today, okay? You know why? Because I want to do it. It's not about my emotions. You know, the brain is always with the emotions. And now I'm not a, I'm not by by no means am I a doctor or a psychologist or any of that. But over the years, as I've gotten older, I've learned more and more about my body. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about my mind and I'm starting to really see how things work. You know, it's, I have to get up and do it. You know, the brain you can, I used to think my, my, my brain guided my body, but no, the body has to guide the brain. You know what I mean? Like I have to get up and do stuff. It's just like, I'll give you another example and then we'll talk about you and create, creating, creating what you want to create. But <clears throat> the, my wife is pregnant and we're having a baby and is we have this room and this room is just full of junk. It's been full of junk for two two years probably, three years probably. You know what I'm saying? And we've always talked about are we gonna do the we're gonna clean out that room and then we're gonna make that into that was supposed that was gonna be the office that I've built down in my basement area. That was gonna be the office. And then my wife, you know, she told me she was pregnant and you know, it's great and everything. And then she said, this will make a great room for the baby. And I said, it would, wouldn't it? And she said, yeah, look how much room it is in here. And she said, now we have to clean it out. And I am said, all right, we're going to do that. And so <clears throat> now me, my brain, I, I, when the baby, the baby would, <clears throat> in my mind, I was thinking to myself, man, you know, the baby, when the baby's born, she's going to be. Yeah, I'm having a girl, by the way. But um, in my mind, I'm like, I still got a good six, seven, eight months. You know, the first year, probably the baby's probably going to be right with us, you know, sleeping, you know. So I'm like, do I really need to clean the room? But I'm like, you know what? No, me, 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 you know, the human, uh, my body, I'm like, nah, let's get let's get off our let's get off our, our ass and let's get it done. And. In the last month, we ha- I have moved the stuff, cleaned up the room, and now, boom, it is by this weekend, I got like one, I just need to move one thing. And then so by this weekend, I'll vacuum everything and hose everything down. And then after that, my wife, she can start doing, you know, decorating the room for the baby. So, you know, me, I know me in my mind, me in my mind, I'll, in my mind, I'm just like, shit, man, you got like six more months, you know. You won't have to worry about that room to 2022. So why are you worrying about it now? But you know, me the person, I'm like, all right, come on, let's 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 get it done. And I've come to the conclusion that I need to do that with everything in, in life. Like, not, you know, like I need to I got I have to guide, I have to guide, I have to guide the emotions, I have to guide the brain, you know, like me the person i don't know when i was young i used to think oh man i'm letting my brain do the work brain what should we do you know this that the other my brain is is a lazy fella you know what i mean he doesn't want to work that hard he's like yeah you know let's find out let's find the easiest way to do anything like that that would be my thinking and that was my thinking in my 20s like i can put life on autopilot and it'll be all right but i don't want to put life on autopilot i want to be as successful as i can be i want to do the things that I want to do, you know. I like I told you before. 
I have no problem with um, driving a truck. I like it. I enjoy it. I find it. I find it. You know, not it's not as bad as I used to make it out to be. And it has been good to me, and it has helped me out a lot. <clears throat> but you know, and I know that I am want to write on a full time basis. Like, don't get me wrong. And I love doing a podcast too. You know. Psh- I love it. I love I love talking to you guys and I and I, and I really enjoy the podcast. But I know like deep down that I'm going to write. And now I used to be like, all right, brain, we, we, we when are we gonna write? And the brain would <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, let's uh let's let's take the let's wait till Monday. You know what I mean? And that is one of the problems. <clears throat> because if you wait around or wait around, you'll be waiting. This Monday, then the next Monday, then this Monday, that Monday. I mean, you know how it is. Say if you want to work out. Let's say if you want to start working out and it's a Friday. What's the first thing you do? You go, man, Monday, I'm going to bang it out. All right. It's like Monday, you're just going to knock it out. I'm going to come out, bang it out, start working out. You you ain't gonna you you not gonna start on Monday. Trust me, I've told I've told myself that bull. I told my I told myself that BS before. So I remember I told my wife I said, "All right, this is the last time I'm drinking a soda." You know, on a Sunday. I mean, we, we lived in an apartment. Are you still? I said, yeah, "It's the last. This this is the last, this is it." Sunday, I'm drinking a soda. I ain't drinking no more. I ain't drinking no more sodas. You know, <laughs> Monday come, I still have. It'd be some. It'd be like a cup still left over. I'm like. I better drink that. I don't want that to go to waste. And then I'm like, well, I already drank one, some soda today. I might as well drink another one. And boom, boom, boom. Before you know it, Monday to come. Next Monday, I'm saying the same thing. It's repeated, repeat myself. So, you know, none of that. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to work out, boom, just start today. If you want to not do something, boom, stop today. You know what I mean? Like, just give it the, give it an effort and keep going. Now, you might slip up, of course. You know, I'm not saying... You're going to be 100% perfect. But the most important thing is you just start today, you know, start and reduce, you know, don't, you know, if you want to start, if you want to start doing something, you know, just start doing it. And if it's something that you don't want to do, just start reducing, you know, like reduce the time. Say, hey, I don't want to watch so much TV. All right. Reduce it, you know, start off by reducing the TV, the TV that you watch or replace the TV that you watch with something good. You know what I mean? Like I used to watch all the. I used to watch all the Maury's and the Jay Springers and all that bull. You know, now I replace that with stuff that I can actually learn something from. You know what I'm saying? Like biographies or documentaries or, you know, the occasional movie with my wife, you know, of course. But that, but that's just us spending some time together. But the, the whole point is, you know, if you if you want to watch TV, watch something that you can get some some benefit out of. You know what I mean? Like mindless tv sometimes is just i mean it's great every now and then if you want to just you know relax take it easy but don't make it an everyday thing so and now and now we are going to talk about um it's this book i've been listening to on audiobook and it's called call to create it's a very good book actually i would give you i would give you the name of the author right now let me see hold on I gotta type it in my phone. I just I was just listening to it a few minutes ago. Here we go. No, who wants dead air? Okay. Called to Create by Jordan Rayner. All right. It's a pretty good book, actually. It's not it's not that long of a book. <clears throat> they just talk about, you know, doing doing something that you know you you wanna do, like creating, and it doesn't matter, like it doesn't necessarily have to be writing. You can, if you want to create like a business for, I'll give you an example. Like he talked about the guy that started Tom's, you know, Tom's the shoe company. So for every shoe that you buy from Tom's, they donate a shoe, a pair of shoes to a place in Africa, I believe, or South America or something like that. You know, like I've heard this story before and it's a pretty, it's a pretty good story. So he said he felt like he was called upon. He he said he was gonna he wanted to make a lot of money and then start donating stuff when he got older. But he said he felt the calling then to you know to do both, like be an entrepreneur and to donate 
at the same time. So I thought, oh, that's a pretty good idea, you know? So he came up with that idea on a trip to South America, I believe. So you, it doesn't necessarily have to be the typical, it doesn't necessarily have to be the typical thing, you know? You can just start off, even if you, even if you don't know what you, even if you don't know what you want to do, like just start doing something. You know what I mean? Like you can always pivot. You can always transition to something. It doesn't have to. You don't have to come out the gate and be like, uh, "I'm going to be. I'm going to create a. You know, I'm going to be a top chef. And I'm going to create this and create that. You know, maybe that's. You start off with something else, and then you you realize, oh no, this is not working for me. Or if this is, I want. I'm going to finish this up, but then I want to do something else. You know, as we talked about before. The journey of life is never like set in stone. Like the only thing set in stone is you're walking and breathing for the time being. You know what I mean? Like you live in the moment right then and there. You know, it's like, all right, I'm 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 doing this. And and I know sometimes I used to get into this habit of saying, man, I know I can do more than this. But it's like, all right, just start doing it. It's like, shut up and just start doing it. Don't worry about, you know, I'm here for a reason. Like I started driving the truck for a reason. Maybe. I mean, thank God I did because I would have never moved to Georgia and I, I never would have met my wife. So, I mean, it it all worked out, you know what I mean? And I got and I got back um, reunited with my one of my best friends from the Navy, from the military. And like it helped me out a lot. So, I mean, I can't say. Oh man, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be doing this. I should be doing this. I should be doing that. No, it's the reason why you are in the situation you are in. You know, and a lot of times it comes down to choices, and a lot of times it comes down to you not, you know, doing what you need to do. So it's not, you know, what if you're happy or not. You know, like don't all that kind of stuff is just, eh, you know. Just get in there if it's something you really want to do. Just start. You know what I mean? Like now, there's no. You know how we used to think, like in the '80s and '90s when I used to watch the movies. I'm like, man, that'd be kind of cool to write to write a movie. Like, who? How can you? How can you do that? Like I used to think of myself, like, how can you do that? Like when I was 18, and I thought about this, I was like, man, I should just get on the bus and go to like L.A. I didn't know anything about L.A. I didn't know anything. I just knew like. I like movies and I like watching movies. And I was like, I wonder how movies get made and all this and all that, you know, like that would be cool to learn. I was like, maybe I can go to Hollywood. And I was like, nah, cause how do you get to Hollywood? That's what I'm thinking about. So how do you get to Hollywood? How can I get to Hollywood? Like I'm from a small town. Like what would I, what would I do? Where would I go? You know, like I had all this kind of, you know, and <clears throat> the person that I am now, like then when I graduated high school, oh, I, I definitely would have got on the bus. And I definitely would have like just worked and I would have figured it. I would have figured it out. And I would have went to I would have went to Hollywood. It might would have worked out, might not. I mean, who knows? But the point is I just would have went. And my of course my mom would have been like, I can't believe you going to California, blah, blah, blah. You don't know anybody, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, it is what it is, you know what I mean? So when you're called upon something, it's something that's just in you, just you know, get out, just just get out there and, you know, do it. Just get out there and get it done, you know? Like, like I truly believe that we are all, we, I, I, like, understand this. Like, greatness, like, you are great. Like, that's already a given. It doesn't matter what you're doing in life. You could be a janitor. You could be the CEO. You could be an entrepreneur. You could be an employee. You could just be, you know, you could be somebody's parent. You could just be, you know, your brother, it doesn't matter what you are, what you are doing at this time. You are already great. Like that's a given. You are great because you are on this earth. Like you are a child. Well, I'm gonna give you my. I'm gonna give you my take on life. You are a child of God. Like it's something special. You know what I mean? Like you are special. I mean, people don't. You have to. I mean, because people. There's a lot of people that don't. There's a lot of people that don't make it. Like. You know, like there's babies that die at birth and things of that nature. You know what I mean? So you have to, if you if you don't know anything else, like it, you're lucky. This it's. I know people like I'm only twenty. I'm only this. I'm only that. But it's like there's a lot of kids, you know, that die of diseases. There's a lot of babies, and there's a lot of 
different situations that happen to people. They don't make it for a long time. You know what I mean? I had a cousin just last year. Matter of fact, this month he died and he was 40. And I, mean, I just kept on myself, man, this guy, he was only 40, but it's 40 years is a long time. But it's, I mean, it's not, it's a long time, but it's not a long time. You know what I mean? It's just like, and, and, I mean, it's sad. I mean, to this day, he was, he was one of my best, he's one of my best friends on this earth. And I miss him every day. And, you know, I say his name every day, and I'm like, man, I can't. But he 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 didn't even see 41 when he 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 was he would have been 41 December the 31st, you know, of last year. And I'm just thinking to myself, man, I'm, you know, Cole didn't even make it, and it's like, wow. And now, you know, I'm 41 too, because we was only about six months apart, and it's just like, shh. So I mean, life is not, you know, you can't take life for granted. So that's why. I say sometimes we just have to get out here and like drop the excuses drop the stories drop all the bs and just get it and just get it done i mean even i because i definitely know that i used to have more stories and more excuses than a man on the moon and it's just like jesus i can't believe this i'd be like oh man if i wasn't on the sitting on the back of this truck or if i wasn't doing this or if i wasn't doing that i could do this x y and z and then you know you go home and then you don't do nothing it's just like Oh, then I'd say, oh, well, I had to spend time with my uh, wife, you know. Oh, hold on, oh, hold on, buddy. She's at work eight hours a day. I still could be, I could be writing, I could be doing anything, but I wasn't doing that. You know what I mean? Like I had excuses, I had a lot of stories, but now we drop all those stories, we drop all those excuses, and now we're just out here going for it. You know what I mean? Like no matter what happens, it doesn't matter. All I can say is, hey, I I tried. I put out my best effort. I left I left it on the table. I'm in the I'm in the arena, you know what I mean? Like and that's how that's how that's what I want for you. Who cares about what people think? Who who cares at the end of the day? If you want to become a, a you know, a comedian or you want to be a juggler or whatever you want to be, you know what I mean? Like don't worry about people. No. They say you trying to do that? You want to do that? You want to do what? What, 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 what? You know what I mean? Like don't even worry about that. Because people are going to criticize you anyway. And a lot of times people criticize because they are too scared to do whatever they want to do, you know? And for some people, they find themselves at, at an early age, and some people, they don't. Some people, it's late in life, you know what I mean? So definitely don't don't make the mistake. Don't get into the don't get into the the weeds of, about your age. I don't I don't care how old you are. Don't get into that. Don't get into that nonsense. Because a lot of times people say, I can't start over. I'm 50. Why not? You might as well. What What do you have to lose? Sometimes, what if you lose? I mean, because some people and you, you, a lot of times people try to judge people and they're like, oh, you're 49 and you don't have any money. It's just like you never you never know somebody's situation. Maybe they got ripped off. Maybe they, they went through a divorce. Who knows? Who cares? It's like, all right, at that point of your life, if you if you want, if you like, all right, I'm ready to be financial responsible then go do that you know it doesn't matter how old you are you know of course it would be nice if you started saving money at the age of 18 i remember i went i went i remember i went down to the um to the edward jones place i was 18 years old and i went down and talked to the guy and the guy said you're mighty young to be down here and i said sir i mean, I, I i grew up out there. we didn't have a lot of money so i'm trying to learn how to collect money get money keep money and have money for a long time so but that's my story you know what i mean like that's just me like everybody's not the same so i mean like my brother my brother was eight my, my brother's 18 you know what he's thinking about chasing girls you know what i mean so everybody's different it's not a big deal but like now he's at the age he's like oh, I, I gotta say now he's at the age where he's a lot more financially responsible and it's that's great you know what i mean so it's not it's not about, you know, it's not about how you start. It's just, you know, how you want to end up, you know. So I know this episode, we went through a couple of different things, but I'm just, some. sometimes we just all need, sometimes we just all need to hear, you know, we just need, sometimes we just all need to hear it's going to be, it's going to be okay. And for you, it's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. Everything's going to work out. And whatever you are called to create, man, it doesn't matter, you know. And don't 
don't feel like you have to do the typical thing. You know what I mean? Don't feel like you have to do X, Y, Z. Like, and, and and you know what's funny? Sometimes when you do different things, you can fa- you can fall back into whatever you wanted to do in the beginning. You know, I thought about this the other day because <clears throat> this Saturday I'm taking a voiceover, a voiceover class. Like I, as I told you before, like a long time ago, I was like I should probably should do voiceover, and I signed up once to to do a demo, but I, it never got done. But now I whipped out my information. I was like, all right, I'm getting this demo done. I'm going to do. I'm going to do more. I'm going to I'm going to be a voiceover besides writing. You know what I mean? Like I'm like all this stuff can tie in because once I I'm telling you, once you. You know, and I'm not trying to do like eight, eight thousand things at once, you know, like the writing. I can just start writing. I know because I know what I want to say. I have it. I have it in my mind. So it doesn't take long. And a lot of this stuff doesn't take long. Like the voiceover stuff, you know, we'll figure it. I'll figure that out Saturday. I'll see. I'll see what the people say. You know, I'm going to take it seriously and, you know, drink my tea and all that kind of stuff. And we'll figure that stuff out. We'll learn that stuff as we go. But the writing is just something that I've always wanted to do as well. You know what I mean? Like, I guess it's funny. It's funny how you, you, you things that you want to do and you just think, I can't do it. But at the end of the day, it's like, you can do whatever you can give it a you 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 must give it a try like if i don't try like if i drop dead in two years if i drop dead tomorrow i can always say hey man i was starting to turn i was starting to turn that corner you know what i mean like you know so that's what i want for you as well online marketing moves we might have changed this we might we might have changed the title of this podcast what do you (laughs) what are you thinking i'm just kidding uh we'll be back tomorrow though with another episode and tomorrow we will actually talk about some marketing stuff we will talk about you know email or we'll we'll figure it out but we will talk about email or we will talk about marketing we will talk about funnels we will talk about something to do with the marketing in the last couple of days we have not discussed anything about marketing but ladies and gentlemen sometimes you just have to talk about your mindset you have to talk about the challenges of this whole thing because creating something being creative and creating new things new opportunities for yourself is hard work you know what i mean like it's beautiful but at the same time it's hard like i i love this i love i love creating something creating this podcast like i know this podcast i don't you know, to my mama, to my wife, I'm a somebody, you know what I mean? But to the world, who who am I, you know? So I'm not, you know, like you and I, we are not, you know, famous people. So you're not going to start off with a million listeners. But in due time, if you just, you know, start making videos or creating content, you will grow, you will blossom, you will learn, you will get better. You will figure this whole thing out. And then before you know it, you know, people will, People will hang on to you a whole lot more than they hang on to a Brad Pitt or a George Clooney or somebody like that. You know what I mean? So, and it will, it will be more special because they will be like, hey, I know this guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or I know this young lady. But I only thing I only thing I can tell you is don't give up. You know what I mean? Like if you are creating content and you feel like nobody's listening, nobody's, you know, well, nobody's watching never never stop because all it takes is that one video that one podcast that somebody latches on that one blog post that somebody latches on to and then they're like boom here here they are and the next thing you know you'll go from you know um 20 followers to like twenty thousand followers but anyway time is up i hope you enjoyed this episode of the podcast we will be back tomorrow with all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody, everybody, peace.